Hey guys, it's, uh, it's Big T out here, and uh, got something uh, cool for you guys today. going to be reviewing two apps that a lot of people today say um, can replace Siri. And well, they just might. I mean, these two apps are pretty pretty good. I mean, they're not, you know, as good as Siri is, but they're, they're pretty close. And, um, so yeah, um, I obviously have an iPhone 4. So I don't have a Siri, obviously, so uh, if I had Siri, I probably wouldn't be doing this video. But, uh, like I said, I don't have 4S, I don't have Siri. So uh, I'll show you guys these two apps that I think are the best. Let's see, the autofocus, okay. Uh, two, the two apps right here, Lingo and Evi. Evi would be the best, I guess you could say, for, um, you know having a conversation with. Um, I mean, she does give you, or, I don't know, she, he, whatever it is, she does give you really nice information. Um, and, uh, I mean, it just, it's just, it's nice to have a conversation. It's, it's, this, Evi is more like Siri's interface, where you could talk and have a conversation. Flingo is more like, um, is more like the Siri when you want to use it for Siri stuff like sending emails, text messages, and all that good stuff. Um, Eva, I'm pretty sure. I, I mean, I know you can send text messages, but um, I think that's all you can do. I don't think you can do anything else. Well, I mean, that way. I mean, you, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this with Eva, but Valingo, and you can send a lot of stuff with, like do a lot of stuff on your phone. So yeah, let's get. Um, to Lingo first. Okay, so, like it says here, go to apps, and then you can you can tap all of these little things, little applications right here. Uh, let's see, I'll tap SMS. You do that, you can, you know, you can talk to it and tell you what to write. Or, what you can do is press, this button says press and speak, and you can just say, you know, all you have to say is, um, uh, text, person's name, your contact's name, and then just say your message. So I'll say, text mom, hello, and then you can press stop, and then there you go. See, to mom, and then here's the message, hello, and then you press, and then you can send it after that. Right here it has done her number, I'm not going to show you that, but yeah. You can also send emails, so like you say, um, what was it, uh, what was it, uh, it's like, um, I can't, I cannot remember for locking me right now, but basically, like, you could just, it'll show you right here, examples of what to do, and, um, so like it says, I'll, I'll try here, okay, so, find GameStop in Simi Valley. And then it has two, you know, choices that it came up with. You press one, and then it takes you to the maps. And then, sure enough, and there's Simi Valley where I live. And then there's GameStop, and there's a GameStop. So going back to Lingo, you know, I mean, it's pretty cool. Oh, so here, here's what, here's the thing uh, what I was trying to show you earlier. What can I say? SMS, email, maps, social update, web search, and voice dial. I've already showed you the SMS, which is text message. Email is very simple. All you say is email, the person's name, the subject, and then you type your message. Or right, well, subject, then the subject, and then you type, you say message, and then message. I don't want to get to that because then you have to go launch your email, and, then, and you don't want to do that. So, like I did the GameStop uh, maps, find coffee shops in uh, Cambridge. Obviously, I said GameStop in Timmy Valley, but same thing. Um, I'll choose the Facebook status, so choose, uh, where was it, sorry, um, so you choose, uh, say, Facebook update using Vlingo, and then it says update on, oh, whoa, whoa, bad focus, okay, update on, and then I'll say Facebook, 
and message using Blingo. Okay, so then I'll tell you if you want to cancel. I said yes, obviously. Um, when you go to apps and you go to uh, social, you, when it says right here, you press update on Facebook and then you can add a social network. The two that it, it lets you do when you first get this app is Facebook and Twitter. I set up Facebook because I don't really use Twitter, but um, you can set up any other one. I don't really use any social networks besides Facebook. So, yeah. Um, then you can web search, you know, not, you know, nothing really to do there. And then, uh, you know, you say search, and then whatever. And then, uh, last one is voice dial, which is pretty straightforward. Just like the web search, just say call. Call, and then, and then you said the person's name, and then mobile, home, whatever. That's pretty much it for Lingo. The second one is Evi. Evi, unlike Lingo, will talk back to you just like Siri does. So, which is a cool feature. Here, I'm putting this down now. So, I can zoom in. Oh, sorry, bad focus. Okay. So, Evi is just like a, a Siri, like I said before. Where basically you can tap this, the setting stuff, and about me. It's not about you, it's about her, obviously. So, go to, uh, there, and it tells you who she was made by, and, you know, all that good stuff. And then, settings. You can put your first name in, and it'll say, you know, and then when she recognizes you, she'll be like, oh, hello, Tyler, and that's my name. And then, it'll say Facebook. You can connect your Facebook account to her, and she'll, like, you know, search your contacts on Facebook. Um, and then, you know, the rest of the stuff you can figure out for yourself. Um, so let's go back. Um, pretty much, you know, besides that, she's pretty much like Siri. And you can also, what's cool about her is she gives, you can get her feedback. So, when you ask her a question, it'll say, like, thumbs up or thumbs down. And if you say thumbs up, it's like, good feedback, thank you. Or it says bad, you know, say bad. So it's a bad answer right there. Only problem that I've had with this so far is that if for some reason believes I live in Chatsworth when I do not live in Chatsworth. But other than that, the time and locate and uh, time and weather it gives me is pretty accurate and it's pretty cool. So if you can live past that, um, you know, then it's a pretty cool app. So I'll test this out for you guys. You can also type a question so you don't have to just, you know, speak it. But um, so I'll t I'll ask a question and be like. Um, this is like, you know, this is like Siri, so you can have a conversation with her. Unlike Vlingo, you have to, um, oh, there's a train. Lovely train in the background. Um, sorry about that. Um, unlike Vlingo, she talks back to you, so you can have a conversation with her, and, you know, and you're not just sitting there waiting for something to come up, you know, it'll, it'll tell you, you know, it's like, oh, thinking, thinking, you know, I mean, it says that on there, but... You know, it, it's just cool. It, it, this is more like Siri. If you're looking for a Siri, you know, I like Siri, this is probably be your best choice. Although she does not do exactly the same things as Siri does. Lingo does more of the stuff that Siri does because, you know, you can access your phone through voice recognition. This, basically, she just, you know, she does basic stuff. I mean, like, okay, I'll say hello. Hello. And then wait for it. Good afternoon, Tyler. Alright, so hey guys, um, sorry about what happened, um, prior to the ending of whatever I was, you know, I was doing before. Never happened, ha uh, blah, blah, blah. can't speak to it. No, huh. never had this happen to my camera before. For some reason, it popped up saying, camera needs to cool down. And I'm like, um, okay. And so, for some reason, just stopped and turned off the camera. I have no idea. The battery is not the greatest right now. It's at, like, 20%. But for some reason, it said cool down. I have no idea what that means. But I uh, turned it off and turned it back on. Let my fan run on it right now. So it's pretty cold. So hopefully I'll be able to finish this video up. So let's get back to the video. Okay. So... Before my video got cut off, um, I was asking it, I was saying, you know, um, hello, and, let's see, let's bring this up for you guys. I see it. This is what I said, I said hello, 
and I said, good afternoon, Tyler, which is my name. And then I said, good answer, because that's a good answer, and I said, thank you. Um, so that's, you know, that's that's what you can do with it. Um, supposedly on the the app store, it said it's updated, so you can send text messages. Um, I, so let's test, uh, I can't speak today, I'm so sorry, guys. Let's test that out, okay. I have no idea what I'm supposed to say, but let's test it out. Text mom. Hello. Let's see what it does. Okay, well... Na- I don't match for mom. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm not really sure what... I'm not really supposed to put... Sh- I can't... Gosh, I'm sorry. I don't know. Alright. I don't know what you're supposed to say for it, because I, I just saw that it said updated that we can do this. Don't know what you're supposed to say for this. Um, but it did come up with my mom's number, so I can tap that. And then, uh, it, it came up with the numbers, so I'm not going to show you guys, but it did come up with the numbers. Um, oh crap, I'm going to get rid of this stuff. Uh, sorry, guys. Oh, man. Uh,. Okay. Um, let me. I think you can delete the, bro, the history. Yeah, clear it all. Okay. I don't want you guys to see my my mom's number. Sorry about that. Okay, so you can ask like any questions, basically. Like, um, let's see. Okay, uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about when it says I live in Chatsworth. But I'll show you. Okay. What's the time? Just wait for it. The time in chats were California is one hour, forty two minutes, and thirty seven seconds PM Saturday, June twenty third, two thousand twelve Pacific Daylight Time. Okay, so like like it said there, it did get the time right. It I don't know if you can see it on my my phone. The very top it says one forty two PM and that's what it said right there, one forty two. It gets the seconds right too, which is pretty cool. Got the date right and it got the day of the week right too. In the year, so I mean, I can live with it saying I live in Chatsworth, but you know, for some people that might be a deal breaker. Now this app, this app, unlike Flingo, is not free. This app, I believe, is a dollar in the app. Okay, sorry guys. All right, I promise this will be the last time this will happen. Um, I have very few short uh, couple seconds left to do this video because. This camera is is very fast. Yeah, it's dying very fast. So, basically, what I was saying before, this app is a dollar in the app store. So, go pick it up if you really want it. This for me, since I'm only in high school, I, this is for business stuff. Like, I mean, well, for this, this, this is basically kind of fun. Like, if you're you know in high school and you want to chill out and talk to her, this is for fun. You know, um, Lingo is free, and this that's more for professional business people who want to like say email, you know, don't want to go through all the hassles of going through the apps and stuff, that's more for them. For this, this is for just having fun, playing around with. Um, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, please, go check out more of my videos. Subscribe, like, rate this, whatever you want. Comment, please. Um, this wasn't really very in-depth of these apps. That's because I have a very short time right now, and plus, I'm not very techy with, um, apps, because... Uh, I'm an app developer, so I don't know how apps tick, so go watch other uh, videos on stuff if you want to know more about these two apps, like the in-depth stuff, you know, stuff that I don't really go over. Go check out those videos, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and I'm Big T, and I'm out.